First, with summer break nearly here for many school children, temperatures aren't the only thing heating up. I know it's hot today. Mm -hmm. The cost of many summer camps is on the rise, too. Yeah, it's not just about a good time for working parents. Summer camps can also serve as child care. Michael Yoshida joins us live now with some tips for how parents can try to keep the summer fun and affordable. Hey there, Tori and Karen. When we talk about these rising costs, we're seeing summer camps anywhere from $100 to more than $1,000 per week. Still, there are some ways to try and keep the summer plans fun while also not draining the bank account. Summer fun turning into a big summer expense for many families. Summer camp is so expensive for parents, and it seems to get more and more expensive every year. Kimberly Palmer with NerdWallet says the average cost for day camp is $500 a week. For sleepaway camp, double that at $1,000 a week. So for parents planning their summer schedule, it just gets expensive really quickly. Palmer says booking early is a great way to keep the cost down with discounts of 20% or more often offered during the previous summer, winter, and spring before camp starts. But if you missed out on early bird deals, here are some ways you can still try and save. Call the camps directly, because in some cases where a camp hasn't filled all its slots, they might offer you a last-minute discount. Also, look at newer and lesser-known camps and ask about discounts and incentives they may have as they try and generate interest. Financial aid is often available as well, and sometimes you do have to ask because it's not publicly advertised. How you pay can also impact the price. You pay for in cash or in a check up front. You can pay less than if you spread out your payments over an installment plan. Of course, for some people's budgets, it's still preferable to use an installment plan to pay, but it's worth checking to see. And it sounds pretty straightforward, but another thing that Palmer talked about is just talking with other parents, whether it be those you know or others in an online message board, see if they've gone through similar difficulties when it comes to these rising costs. And they may have also inside information on what some camps may doing, be doing to try and help families keep the costs down this summer. Back to you. And Michael, I understand some families may be eligible for a tax credit. So can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so for some, there's the child and dependent care tax credit. Uh, it could get up to a little more than $1,000 per dependent. Now, there are a lot of restrictions here, so you definitely want to uh, take care when looking to see if you're eligible. But the basic idea is if your child's under the age of 13, potentially you're eligible. Also, no uh, sleepaway camp. So it's basically if you're using summer camp or day camps as a way for you to then go and earn money. Also, talk with your employers. Some offer flexible spending accounts that you could actually try and use that money to help cover these costs. A lot of different ways to try and subsidize or offset some of these costs as in this inflationary environment, everything seems to just mm. keep going up. That's so true. All right, Michael Yoshida, thank you.